Hello, uh, this is Benjamin Price, and today I'm here with Terry Crews and Jane Krakowski, who play Commander Melanoff and Mrs. Willoughby in the new Netflix film, The Willoughbys. So if you could pluck one thing from the hyper-stylized world of The Willoughbys and bring it with you into real life, what would it be? Ooh, wow, that's good. Um, first of all, the hyper-stylized factory, candy factory, is something I would make really, really happen. That's for real. Um, I'm a candy junkie. When it's my cheat day, I don't play around. So I get down. <laughs> <laughs> I personally fell in love with the Barnabies. I thought they were hilarious. And uh, I'm not sure why the mother couldn't make two of those turtlenecks, considering she's knitting all the time. But um, I fell in love with the actor who played them and the, those two characters. I could have the Barnabies come visit anytime. I thought they were so cute. <laughs> So, Mr. Cruz, as the host of America's Got Talent, I'm curious, what do you think Commander Melanoff's routine would be if you were a contestant on the show? Oh, he would probably be juggling different types of candy. Uh, I could see it while singing uh, the whole thing and basically flexing and, li and lifting giant things at the same time. You know what I mean? Because he's a big, big dude, you know? <laughs> Miss um, Krakowski, your character in this film goes on a perilous journey set up by the children. Um, I'm curious, how do you think that same trip would go if she went on it with Jenna Maroney and Jacqueline White? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think they, they might all fall into the same uh, self-deluded <laughs> category where they would not even understand that they were with other people. They think they were still traveling alone. So, uh, Mr. Cruz, as I understand, you're quite an avid gamer, and uh, you built a gaming PC from scratch um, with right. your son. Very cool story, by the way. Thank um, you. Thank you. So, I'm curious. Uh, we're all spending a lot more time at home. So, what are you playing or building right now? Right now, my son is destroying me on everything. <laughs> he, You know, the game we've been playing right now is called Control, and it's mm -hmm. absolutely incredible. Um, and it stars this lady named Jesse, who's been able to do all these amazing things. And I'm I'm watching him destroy this game. I I, I wish I was as good as he is. He's 14, he, he's intuitive, he knows what's going on. Uh, what can I say? And he's destroying the game. I just watch him play right now. Miss Krakowski, how did you develop the offbeat chemistry uh, between you and your on-screen husband, Martin Short? <laughs> uh, well, I have had a long time comedy crush on Martin and I've known him for a very long time. Um, so it was only joy for me to be able to play opposite him and sort of just take all of his comedic genius that he comes up with and he's incredibly skilled vocally. Um, the, the sounds and effects that he can make with his own mouth are in, so impressive. So um, I just love sort of playing off of him and between him and Chris Pierre, we've sort of just all made sort of our own parent mega mix together. And um, I, I really enjoyed it. I think they're um, incredibly oblivious, but super fun vaudevillian characters to play. So as far as I know, uh, your characters don't share any screen time together, but um, how do you think they'd interact? Just curious. Wow. Well, you know, um, again, you know, when you look at the movie, Melanoff is not a parent in the beginning. He, he basically doesn't know what it's like to have kids around. And he's kind of, and he, it, it kind of, they, kids tend to win him over. So I think in the beginning, they would be very understanding of each other. You know what I mean? It's kind of one of those things like, hey, we don't know what kids are about. So I think they would get along at first. I feel like my character is someone who would knit a cover for your rainbow. Like she wouldn't understand you want yes. to see the colors of the rainbow. Yeah. She'd make like <laughs> she'd knit a cover to put over it. You'd be like, no, that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All righty. Well, uh, thank you so much for being with me here today. Um, make sure to check out the Willoughby's when it comes to Netflix on April twenty second. This is Benjamin Price signing off. See you next time. Bye.